Aiden, you are a fat, stinky loser. <laughs> Get down and do at least 20 push-ups right now. Wow. Yo, this, yo, this Mr. Clean, fat, Mr. Clean Vin Diesel looking is not going to laugh at these. That's not an insult. Mr. Clean looked good and so does Vin Diesel. No, no, that wasn't even funny, bro. Like, what the? Fat, stinky <laughs> loser. That's beautiful. Bro, that was not even yo. funny, bro. FSL. <laughs> FSL in the chat. What does that mean? I just told you what it meant. Bro, brother. Think about it. Work it out. Fat, stinky loser. Correct. Yes. Let's see me see the chat. Yes, Let me see the FSL. Oh, you guys are a bunch of Bro, maybe you are bad for FSL. Maybe you are, bro. FSL. Mm -hmm. FSL. <laughs> This guy's bad for you. Like, How am I bad for you? Like, you're telling me the truth about Your yourself. Your A-Fraud Andrew donated $1. Andrew, let's be honest. Aiden is 10x more successful than you, especially since you're like 40, buddy. Even Pudgy scammed his fans. I mean, he still got a bigger bag than you. Good point. Andrew, you're a fraud. Money. L plus ratio, but... No, no, but the, he made a good point, right? What? And this, he made a good point, right? What? So he's saying that I'm 40, I'm 36. I am way ahead of you. And at my, at your age, I have no money. Okay. Right? So at your age, I was completely broke. Okay. And that's actually the reason why I talk to you the way I do, because your potential is limitless. You have oh. something that I didn't have at your age. At your age, I was struggling to find food to eat, right? Struggling to find money. You don't have to worry about that. So there's no excuse for you to not be in fantastic shape. No excuse for you not to have an iron mentality. There's no excuse for not to have your life entirely in order. This is my exact oh. point. You are an advantageous generation. You're just wasting it. Got it. This is the whole point of me talking to you. Well, that's why you brought the chessboard. They teach you about life. Correct. And to really? 20 grand. Okay, but to, to learn about life. Yeah. Oh my God. So life is chess, Mr. Tate. Yes, it is. You got to think At ahead. Times? Oh. You got to think ahead. And I'll ask you now. Honest question, Aiden. Where, like your current life path, without me yelling at you and all the shit I'm telling you to do, right? Imagine I'm not around and you're just doing the normal stuff you do in LA and down, blah, 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 blah. Where does it lead? Does it lead anywhere good? Yes. Where? I do wonder. I wonder where, like, the Kai Sinats of the world, like, where they want to take this fame. I show speed. They're very famous for 20, 19-year-old guys. You're very curious to know, like, you can retire now, so what do you do with the next 70, 60 years of your life? What, what good is going to happen? If you continue to sit around LA, get swatted, and hang around with boys, what, what good is going to happen? Yeah. I'm curious. You're right. He's like nothing. a dad. You're nothing. So you have to look at the chessboard and plan ahead. You don't win chess by accident. I didn't do this to you by accident. I saw ahead. You have to see the future. You have to predict. All right, so Andrew, let me ask you a question. If you happen to be in my shoes right now, what would you do? What's the I'd first be, thing? Okay, the first thing I'd do is hire the best personal trainer on the planet. Okay. And get a private dietitian. Okay. So really? It's a strong body. It's a strong mind. Okay. You just described earlier okay. the problems you were having mentally. They could be fixed with a strong body. Strong body, strong mind. I've become resilient uh, to the attack. Real quick, sorry to interrupt you, but I have to fart. Do you want me to go sort of do it? When you have the fart, you let it out. There's oh, no way just you just hold it oh, in. Man, is this a picture of Aiden looking fat? <laughs> oh no, some other fat, some other fat guy. That is me. Is what? You? Yeah, but it's photoshopped. Oh. Okay. Cause he doesn't look that big. Stripper Aiden's sister donated five dollars. Andrew, what's your take on Kanye and Pudgy? Get your lazy ass in the gym. Fr Pammy needs a real mom stick. Or you calling? No, but you are in an advantageous position for your age, and you are wasting it. I agree with you. So let's continue what we were saying. If you're my position, diet, dietitian, weight, uh, professional, weight trainer, what else? Correct. Strong body is strong mind. You have to prepare yourself for the difficulties of life because trauma is going to come to you and God is going to test you. And right now you're in a very fortunate position where you get to sit on the internet and make money and just live this very easy life. And let me tell you something about life, my friend. God is not going to allow you to live this very privileged life for eternity. Something is going to happen. I don't know what it is. You might get banned. Something bad might happen to you. Heaven forbid. No, I'm just saying. Heaven forbid. I don't want these things. Okay. You know, life does come with its ups and downs. There is going to be a test. You have to get better the older you get. You have to get wiser. In order to stay wiser, things have to happen in your life. Okay. But something bad might happen to you, and you have to be the kind of man who is resilient to those things and prepared to fight against them. I'm saying you must build up your character points. It's very much like a video game. You're playing a video game and you know you're going to reach harder levels in life. What do you do? You increase your strength, your stamina, you get more money in the bank, you buy better guns, because as you progress along the game of life, it becomes more and more difficult. And I'm saying to you, you are now sitting, coasting, thinking life's going to be easy and it's going to stay easy because you're in a very fortunate position. And I hope for you it does. But the probability of that happening is very yeah, low. Very the high. likelihood is that it's going to become difficult and you need to be ready for that. Got you. That makes sense to me. You're right. Because life's going to hit you with something like this out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. It happens. Whatever hit you that put you sitting in bed all day, whatever, whatever, was probably... It was bad. Okay. Well, it's going to... Something worse is going to happen. Really? Of course it is. It's a guarantee. I mean... Well, no. Because the thing is that even if you move carefully, like life... 
like the most random things happen to the best people. Like it just, it life just happens. So it's a guarantee on a long enough time frame that you're gonna lose people you love, fuck, yeah. and that you know, something might happen. Yeah. Fucking Twitch might go out of business. Who knows? You need to be the kind of guy who wakes That's up true. in a bad position and goes, "Okay, everything's fucked," but I'm a superhero. You can't rely on the outside position being favorable. This is a very winner mentality, winner mindset. Like I'm gonna win. It doesn't matter. Look at what happened to me, bro. When the Matrix attacked me, I knew it was going to come. What, they... what is the Matrix? Someone has to explain that to me. I feel like I don't really understand it completely, completely. Like, is the Matrix the Rothschilds, the, Ma the Matrix, the people at the top? Like, who is the Matrix? What is the Matrix specifically? Tell me in the comments. Also, subscribe. Thank you. Attacked me absolutely and completely. They tried to destroy me, not just online, not just deleting my social media accounts, blocked all my bank accounts, took yeah. millions and millions of dollars, so, legal cases for things I didn't even do, uh, slander in the news, attacking my family, etc. Yeah. all this garbage. If I was the kind of person who collapsed under pressure, I would have ended up in bed, sitting around, crying, being useless. Instead, I got up every single day at 6 a.m. and I defeated them. I have defeated the Matrix. I'm the first person to ever be canceled who became more famous than before they were canceled. I won! I beat them all. It makes me think, because I'm like, is there anyone who's done it? Like, I won't lie. This is probably, like, the best I've seen, where someone gets canceled and then they come back. If I've learned anything about getting canceled, you can get canceled, but as long as you don't care, you can kind of keep going. Jeffree Star gets canceled all the time. James Charles gets canceled all the time. Yet they still have 24, 20 plus million subscribers on their channels. At least a million views per video. Like, as long as you keep pushing forward... You can stay at the top. You can stay relevant. I think Andrew is definitely one of the first. Maybe he's right. Maybe the first to like get canceled and then get even bigger. Cause I haven't seen this before. Powerful machine that exists on the face of the planet. Do you think I did that through luck? No, through absolute mental resilience, through hard work, perspicacity, indefatigability. The fact that I can look at a chessboard and see ahead and plan. This is exactly how I beat them, Aiden. Okay. Because I am me. You knew what was happening. I'm top G. Because I'm the kind of guy who doesn't give up and doesn't quit. Right. Unmatched perspicacity. The ability to see and perceive what's happening. Coupled with sheer indefatigability makes me a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. This is who you must become to be a top G. This is what I'm trying to teach you and train you to become. Because on a long enough time scale, you're 22, I'm 36. Across the next 14 years, you're going to go through some shit. You need to be ready for it. I like that he's like his mentor. I don't agree with everything this guy says, but I do like that he's like his mentor because I think the goal for this, An this Andrew Aiden relationship is to at least have him in a mental state to be prepared for the inevitable of like when people try to attack you for whatever reason, when the world like just collapses or people you love or just life hits you hard. He just wants to make him just an overall decent man. I don't know if he wants to make him a good man, because I don't feel like that's Andrew Tate's thing. I think his thing is to make him a powerful man that understands the world, understands how to navigate it, and if you're good, good. If you're bad, well, don't be bad, but like, you know, like, because I don't think that's, that's Andrew's thing. He wants him to be a smart, strong man. That's what he wants for Aiden. Bad. And for all it's going to be bad. I need to be ready for it. it you it, cannot it. just be sitting in bed moping, moping about it. Yeah, you're, you're right. It's, it's inevitable for like deaths to happen. Absolutely. It's, it's inevitable. Are you God forbid? Are you, like you, you said, God forbid. Knock on some wood, yeah. Are you prepared no. for war? No. no. You need to become prepared for war. That's this is life. You need to prepare yourself for war. Tomorrow's not promised either. You're right, everything has to happen now. Why is this man smoking a cigar? Okay. This is and the only person right. who can do it is you, yourself, as right. a person. Damn, bro. You're right. I gotta do shit now, bro. I don't have enough time. You never know when it's your, you never know. That's fucking crazy, bro. Holy fuck. I just feel so fucking alive, Top G. Holy fuck. When nah. the cigar is up, I'm done. So we have about another 15 minutes. <laughs> Can't even lie. That is very, like, Top G behavior. Was just like, when I'm when I'm done with the cigar, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. No negotiations. No, no extra time. When this thing is done, I'm gone. That is some interesting Top G behavior. Want to play another game for 20 grand? No. Leave me alone. I want to talk to you. And I want, to, I want you to touch some more people's lives and shit. And I want you to help me out. <laughs> I came to you for a reason. You see something in me. I know you don't like people. What the fuck do you see in me? You see something in me. Correct. What do you see in me? I think you have the ability- You know what's interesting? When someone gets so big, I don't think it's for no reason. And I think that's why Andrew Tate is looking at him like, there's more to be established here. There's more to be done here because the foundation isn't really- The foundation's being partially built, but it's not fully- It's not, it's not solid. 
you know, Aiden has done well for himself. He's gone pretty well, done pretty, gone pretty far on his own right now. But it's like, how do we take you from being like a regular two-story building to being the Freedom Tower? We want you to be a solid foundation that just reaches the sky. And I think that's what Andrew Tate sees in Aiden. I think you have the ability to be semi-likable. Semi. You already like me, though. <laughs> semi-likable. And I also think you're, like I said, in an advantageous position, especially financially and influentially. I think that you will one day understand that the black hole of hedonism grows old and tired, and that one day, maybe not now, but when you're perhaps my age, will look back on the impact you had on the world, and it, you will find true joy and happiness knowing that you've been good for the planet and it has affected people's lives. And there's a lot of people here who find affinity with you. There's people's lives already changed, though. Good. But listen, I there's a lot of people who who find affinity with you. They see themselves in you to, to, to a degree or they wouldn't watch you. My point is, by you going on a journey of self-improvement, by you now becoming the man who does amazing things, you're going to inspire millions Even and more. millions of other people. You can have a massive Agreed. impact on the world. Aiden, listen to me carefully. Imagine you get in fantastic shape and climb Mount Everest. Yeah. Imagine they talk about how you met Top G. Oh, you know. my goodness. Exactly. That is, wow. That's pretty good. That's really good. Because imagine, like, Kai and them, like, they just keep trying to get better and better and better. All their followers, which I would imagine, because I know, like, MKBHD, I know, like, RDC World, I think their numbers for men are about, well, obviously, like, 90% of their people who watch them, maybe even higher, probably 96% of the people who watch them are men. And, like, imagine, like, all of these big YouTubers get so great. Like, they get healthy. They get smarter. They get to do all these, like, great things. You inspire more men to want to do these great things as well. You start working, start training, stop doing dumb shit, stop hanging around with whores, yeah. stop wasting your time, train, became a physical specimen, <laughs> climb Mount Everest, etc. All these people here watching yeah. you are going to be inspired to do more amazing things. The world will become a better yeah. place. God will be pleased with you. God himself will look at you, Aiden, and say, wow, he is doing what I want to be done on my planet. And you will be rewarded for that. So you're saying... I'm saying you can change the world. So me... Okay, by me going into the gym, doing it for myself, and doing what I want to do to become the best for myself is going to inspire people. That's it's going to change the entire world. Now, a lot of other people at home doing it, good. It's going to affect their personal lives. It's going to affect the lives of their family. That's a good thing. Great. But you, you have the ability to affect people far more than that. It is a disservice to humanity for you to not become the best version of yourself because your journey will be watched... Your journey will inspire and, others. And this is the type of stuff that I agree. I just don't like sometimes some of the stuff you say, but this is the type of stuff I agree on. You're very motivational. What's something I say that you don't like? For example, I didn't like how you said... I don't like that he's, like, not really acknowledging... I don't know. Like, I, you're about to argue with him right now, and he's just... He gave you a compliment. You know, accept a compliment, say thank you, and then I feel like start figuring out like, honestly, if I had Andrew Tate right there, I'd just be like, could you tell me this, Dan? Okay, so you said dietitian. Okay, personal trainer. Okay, what should I do with my finances? What should I do with this? And now you're about to tell him, like, what you don't agree with. And I get it. Like, it's supposed to be, like, a conversation. But at the same time, it's like, clearly the man is done with you. Try to get as much helpful information as you can to better your life. Get his knowledge. Apply it to your life. Do better. For example, the X thing. It's, we don't want to go, I don't want to go back, but if you're done with the person, you're done with the person. Close the, close the chapter and go on to the next chapter in life. Leave that chapter? person behind. It's a, that's how life is. There's people you don't talk to today that you talked to 20 years ago. There's people you talked to today that you talked to five years ago. Et cetera, et cetera, bro. And one thing about you that I, I realized too, is you have good people around you too. I've, no, I've noticed that when I came to you, your brother, where, where's Tristan, by the way? He's downstairs. Can I, can, he, can I say hi to him later? Perhaps. Okay. <laughs> um, he's solid, bro. You guys are solid together. And, and what happens when you- No, they're around? like the greatest- like, one of the greatest bro ships I've ever seen. Like, a double-edged sword. Andrew and Tristan, it's just, like, just both sharp on both sides. Like, it's pretty strong unit. You, too. That's one thing you don't really touch on. I feel like you have to speak on good people around you. Also makes you more motivated and also brings the best out of you. Correct. So, let's talk, talk about, about that. Yeah. Relationships between people is always going to be a value exchange. Yeah. There's no such thing, unless you're being used like a fool of you having all the value and the person, the people next to you having no value to add to your lives. Even the friends you talk to, they make you laugh, yeah. right? So they give you value, right? So by, by extension, how do you get good people around you? How? Think about it. It's a value exchange, right? No, you want to have good answer. people around you. Every relationship in the world is built on an exchange of value. So how do you end up having good people around you? I actually don't know. 
you have to, what do you mean? You have to, I mean, you have to choose. You have, you to, have to be a good person. Mm. Good people have good people around them. Yeah. Bad people have bad people around them. True or false? Facts. You True. look at you look at thief. Who were his friends? Thieves. Thieves. Because he can't hang around with good people because he's stolen from them all. Uh, do you I understand? I do. So my circle is solid, and they are good, valuable assets to me because I am a good, valuable asset to them. To them. Yeah. The better a person you become, if you were to embark on this journey of self-discovery like we just described, and you were to start taking your life very seriously, there'd be people who would come into your life who would be new, and there'd be people who fall out of your life. Guess who's going to fall out of your life? The bad people. people. The bad, the bad people. Yeah. People who are wasting your time. I agree with Wasting your life. I agree with And the people who would become, join into your life would be the people you're training with, people who want to climb Mount Everest with you, etc. The better you become as a person, the better your circle becomes, which is why when people send me questions, and I get this a lot, hey, Andrew, you know, my friend did this to me, my friend stole my girl, some bullshit. Well, if you're hanging around with losers, guess what you are? A loser. A loser. If you're hanging around with snakes, guess what you are? A snake. A snake. There's no snakes in my circle. There's no losers in my no. circle. The best way to have a good circle is to be a good person. Life is very simple and it will fix itself if you do the work. So yes, I have a fantastic network of extremely compendious, hardworking, reliable individuals because guess what I am? A compendious, hardworking, reliable individual. This is how the world works. Got it. So the energy you give out is what you receive. It's almost like live by the sword, die by the sword. Yeah. Got it. Damn, bro. That's, That's crazy. pretty good stuff. I, uh, I, promise I just you. hope Aiden is listening. I don't know. I feel like Aiden, he, he reminds me of like, because like, I don't know when Aiden started popping off. I really don't know when Aiden started popping off. Maybe I know he's like 22, 23, so maybe like end of high school or whatever. But like he has, he reminds me of like some classmates I used to have where it's just like, like you'll have a teacher like Andrew Tate. You'll literally have like, I've had a few, maybe two or three teachers like Andrew Tate, very direct, just want the best for you you know, will tell you how it is kind of guys. And they'll be talking to an Aiden and they're just, you just know they're not soaking up. Maybe they are subconsciously, maybe in some aspect of their life, they're going to remember what this teacher said, or, you know, Aiden's going to remember this part that Andrew said, but they're not like, he doesn't look like he's fully grasping what he's saying. And this is where it comes like to having the mentor regularly being in your life. Because I feel like if Andrew, if, I don't know if Andrew plans on, like, chatting with this guy regularly. Probably not, because I don't think Andrew likes him like that. If Andrew's not talking to him at least, like, one to two weeks, maybe at least once a month, maybe, I feel like Aiden will forget. He'll probably forget most of this. I I really feel like it, and he'll probably go back to the whores and to drinking and to partying until, obviously, it hits him when he's, like, 26, 27. Maybe I should be better. And hopefully, maybe Andrew Tate's not tired of him or something like that. Andrew Tate doesn't seem like the kind of guy to give up if he sees potential. But at the same time, I can imagine you'd probably get frustrated with like an Aiden type. Because it's just like, I told you this one time. I told you this two, three, four, five. You know, when do you listen? Because I know the next time we're going to see each other, you told me come to Romania. The next time we, uh, you see me, even actually we'll probably chat over Discord and text. The next time you visually see me. I will be better than where I am right now. I'm going to actually, you motivated me to motivate them. And that's all I needed because the fact that you brought that to my head, now I really understand. And this is my motivation. If I sit around like a fat, mopey piece of shit, it's not really showing them anything. But if on the side and I'm currently giving updates and stuff about where, what I'm doing in the gym and I'm progressing, yep. it's going to motivate people because they're going to be like, oh, wow, Aiden had such a shitty mindset. And he was laying around eating fucking chips all day and drinking soda. Fuck that. It's, it's, it's actually wrong with me. To I guess I was wrong. Hopefully he does better. Cool. M, because I have an audience who watches me. It's wrong with me to them if I don't become the best version of myself. Now you are starting to you understand. Because, no, it's selfish. It is. It's yeah. selfish. It is. Correct. Because think about it like this. I have a lot of eyes on me for a reason, right? Correct. There's no, it's not just because. Correct. There's Correct. a reason. Yeah. I have to provide significance Correct. in some yeah. type of way. And it starts yeah. with making myself better. Absolutely. That's how you build a legacy. I figured it out, bro. I'm That's actually, how you build a legacy. I killed my body. I actually figured this out, bro. Oh, I look hey. forward to your journey. Oh my god, I actually figured it out. I'm not, I'm not even just trolling. Watch, bro. Watch what I do now. I have videos of myself yeah. telling myself I'm gonna blow up and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Now I'm telling myself, my future self, Aiden, now is your time. Now is your time to use your resources. You don't have people around you like eh, and people around you with like Andrew who have mindsets built on building themselves up and becoming a good version of themselves. You need to be motivated, you need to be locked in. And it's your and you guys motivate me, I'm gonna motivate, motivate you guys in this camera. I'm ready, bro. I'm actually like so ready right now. Yeah. As soon as, I, as soon as I touch back down, I'm I'm doing this shit, bro. I really am. I'm gonna get a good. I'm gonna get a, on a good diet. You can start there, but one thing, one thing at a time. I'm gonna really do this shit. And and, and, and the times I said it before, I people were saying, "Oh, you said this a million times," but now you put in my head that it's for them. It is for me. It is. 
but it's going to have an effect on them as well. Yeah. You can't pour from an empty cup. The more you do for yourself, the more you can give to others. Exactly. You're right. The more I do for myself, the more I can give to others. My work is complete. Congratulations. Yeah. You know, this. I have work to do. Oh. I'm done. Okay. I fixed you. Oh. Where are you going? Bye. Subscribe.